So you often hear this phrase of, God, I wish I was back in my 20s, or the 20s are the best years of your life. Everything is all about your 20s and how you have such a good time in your 20s. And when you speak to your parents or you speak to, you know, whoever, whoever's older than you, they all kind of wish they were back in the 20s. They all kind of reminisce all the times of when they were younger. To me, the 20s being the best years of your life is sort of like saying that the rest of your life after your 20s is gonna be bad or not as good as your 20s. And for me, that's just like super depressing. Like, why would you want, like, what's the point, right? You know, the rest of your life should be just as good as your 20s in my opinion. And when I was making this video, I just thought about this and I thought, why is it that people enjoy the 20s so much and then they actually don't enjoy their life that much? maybe after the 20s, you know, after maybe like say 25. The reason that I actually think this is, is because when you're 20, when you've got no responsibilities, so usually you're living by uh, with your parents or maybe you're just living with your uni mates or something or your flatmates, you've got no responsibilities, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You might not even have to work, potentially. Uh, you might just get money given off your parents. That's not the case for me, but you know, you've got a lot, a lot less responsibilities. You've got no, you don't have kids or anything, or probably don't have kids. And overall, life's just easier, I think, at 20. I mean, I'm 21, so, you know, I'm soon to be 22, but I imagine life's a lot easier for me than it is for someone who's 28, 30, and you've got responsibilities, you've got houses, you've got, you know, family, you've got all these kind of things, kids. In this video, I just wanted to go through some of the things that I think is important in your 20s that you should be doing, that a lot of people aren't doing, a lot of guys aren't doing, that I think is gonna separate you from most of those people who say the 20s are the best years of your life. I think there's a genuine way that you can set your 20s up so that you actually have a good time after 20 as well. When I had this kind of realization, I was in a nightclub in the city that I live in and it was a bit of a shit nightclub, a um, bit of a grotty nightclub. And I was with my um, mate at the time and a bunch of his uni friends. So I actually didn't go to uni, but I, was with all his uni mates and I just knew them all and I used to go on a lot of nights out with them and I don't know if you live in the UK or not but in the UK there's a huge kind of night out culture so everyone goes out on the weekend and that's just kind of the norm and it's weird if you don't and especially in the universities um, in uni it's a big big thing to go out on the weekend and just get really drunk and do loads of drugs and it's not good right and staying up to like five in the morning and i was in this nightclub with my mate who i'm still good friends with today and a bunch of his other friends from uni who i don't speak to anymore and these guys were like the definition of like degeneracy <laughs> and there's one guy in particular who i won't name massive massive uh, drug addict essentially um and he, he, he was kind of a standout, but a lot of people were like that in this kind of uni accommodation. And we're all like 20, 19, 20, early 20s. And he was a huge drug addict. And there was another guy there who was like 25, who was also a huge drug addict. And all these guys, as fun as they were to be around, had absolutely nothing going for them. They were all having a great time, but they were neglecting probably the most important aspects of their life like from since doing self-improvement i can look back now and really analyze the situation i was in there with those people and i could understand that that is the definition of having a good time in your 20s living your life to the fullest in your 20s and then ending up probably doing something after your 20s that you don't want to be doing and looking back in your 20s and thinking oh you know that was a great time and i think for me on my self-improvement journey and through making this YouTube channel things, I think I've come to the re realization that I'd be quite happy to spend a lot of my twenties really just working and focusing on my health and focusing on self-improvement and building up a business so that after twenties, I'm not looking back at my twenties thinking they were the best years of my life. So I wanted to really just pull, pull some bits together that I kind of come to the re realization and learn from that I think you could take away and yeah, I think these are things that you should prioritize in your 20s. And yeah, I'll just dive straight into the first one. Optimize your health and make sure that you're healthy. Health is the most important thing in your 20s, right? Everything that you want to do in your 20s, especially like if you're anything like me, you want to build a business, you want to make in you want to earn a decent amount of income, maybe you want to work online, maybe you don't want to be stuck in the rat race the night of five, then optimizing your health is going to be one of the most important things for you to do because your health is essentially going to determine whether you're capable of working or not. 
So what I'd say for guys who aren't already optimizing their health is just some quick takeaway things. Stop doing what I was doing and stop going out nightclubbing in the city you're in. Stop taking drugs and stop drinking. Those are the key kind of three things. Get to bed at a decent time every night. Stop going out drinking with other guys who are just going nowhere and stop taking drugs, okay? For obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, that's health. The second thing is set up a business. So in your 20s, you need to set up a business. If you don't know what business to set up, then there's an easy question you need to ask yourself, which is gonna help you decide what business to set up. And that is, don't worry about which business makes the most money, which business is the most automated, which business is gonna passively earn you income, all this bollocks. Just, just focus on what problems do you wanna solve? Because this business, you're gonna be working on it for a long time, potentially years and years especially in your early 20s. As you're building it up, it's going to take a long time. So you need to focus on what problems do you, are you, would you be happy to solve on a daily basis? And for me, the ins I tried a few of the businesses before. So on this channel, I've spoke about, I've tried drop shipping. I've tried a social media marketing agency. I've tried print on demand. I went really heavy into print on demand. So I've tried these three businesses and the problems that they all raise. So for dropshipping, for example, the problems is, the main problem is getting the product to the customer on time and in a decent amount of time. And it's just such a ball ache to, to kind of communicate that to the customer and to uh, set up a system where you can get parcels delivered to your house and then you have to ship them out separately or you can do it through uh, the supplier's direct delivery, but it takes weeks to get to the customer. So that was the main problem. And that isn't a problem I wanted to deal with. I didn't want to deal with customer complaints. I didn't want to deal with any of this. Uh, print on demand was a similar scenario. The main problem being that uh, the designs had to be personalized. So I had to actually uh, trade my time for money on each order, which was just not going to work out. Um, so this is why I've come to YouTube because I've always wanted to be a YouTube and create content. Now, what are the problems that I have to actually face? Well, initially it's the kind of um, scary task of having to be on camera, scary task of having to put myself out there in the social media world. That is the first problem, but that's the problem that you only need to solve once. And then the other problems are video editing. So video editing is a problem that I can solve. I, I thought I thought to myself, you know, I can solve that problem. That's a problem I could deal with daily, right? I'm mean, to record a video and then edit it. So once you pick a business, go into that business with everything you've got, okay? Prioritize your time and learn how to set goals for yourself so that you can actually put all your effort into that business. Instead of going out drinking, instead of going out partying with friends, actually put all your heart and soul into that business. So you need to learn how to prioritize your time and you need to learn how to actually work, how to be productive. There's podcasts on this, there's books on this, uh, Atomic Habits and Andrew Human podcasts go into how to actually manage your time and how to be really productive. So once you pick the business, just stick at it and just go for it. Whatever problem you wanna solve, solve that problem every day. So you've optimized your health, so you're fit and healthy and ready to actually work. You set up a business, and once you've decided what business you wanna do, you've just prioritized your time. And the third thing you wanna do is start building on your skill set. So you, you're literally like in your 20s, right? I'm in my 20s. I don't know everything there is to know. You don't know everything there is to know. There's a lot of stuff that we both need to learn together. So build on your skill set. Learn new shit, read books, listen to podcasts, learn everything you can. At this age, it's the best age to just learn shit, learn everything you want to learn, everything about your business, everything about entrepreneurship, everything about self-improvement, just learn everything, consume content, uh, read books, listen to podcasts, and yeah, th essentially this, this tip's just learn shit, consume content. I've done a whole video on consuming content on the channel before, so you can go back and find that. But I'll give you some examples to start off with if you, genuinely are lost and have no idea where to upscale yourself in. So the key kind of skills are sales, marketing, creating products, learning how to educate people, and then synthesis. Uh, synthesis is a bit more of a complicated one, but it's essentially just all the stuff we just talked about, consuming content, and then being able to package that up and actually educate people on it. I guess it's kind of similar to education. It's kind of what I'm doing now, that's synthesis. Those are kind of the five skills that I definitely make sure you know, because that's just going to set you up for any kind of business, and it's going to be applicable across the board for any kind of venture you go into any kind of business that you're working on in your 20s, learn how to sell, how to sell, uh, learn how to market, uh, and then you should be fine, realistically. Tip number four is to eliminate procrastination. This is the huge, huge thing with me that I really struggle with. I'd find myself just catching myself on my phone, 
and I've been watching YouTube shorts for like an hour. I was meant to be doing work. That, this still happens to me today, but I've got a lot better with it. And I can guarantee it's probably happening to you. And it's so frustrating. And the best way that I've found to stop this from happening is to literally just have my phone on silent. Do not disturb. I've turned off all my notifications on my phone. I've turned off the kind of rise to wake thing on the iPhone. You can go into settings and disable that so your phone doesn't pop up when you just pick it up and tap the screen. You can turn that off as well. So you actually have to press the side button on your phone for it to turn on. Um, this is kind of the tips that I learned from Hamza when he was talking about it, but yeah, this kind of eliminates your ability to procrastinate because when you see your phone on the desk, it's not going to have any notifications on it. And then when you actually pick it up, it's not going to open up. So you're just not tempted to go on it. Uh, this is the easiest way to know, eliminate procrastination because the, probably the main reason that you're procrastinating is because you're just going on your phone and going through social media. So make your phone super manual, super hard to like access and just easily get to and you should help that should help you eliminate procrastination and then the fifth uh, tip is to start setting routines and become super super consistent so once you set a routine where you say okay i'm gonna i'm gonna work on my business i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna work on my business and then when you've set that kind of two to three hour block of work you've got your phone away you've told your family you've told your friends you've told your girlfriend whatever it is that like this i'm working for the next two three hours i don't want any distractions and you just work <laughs> you just work okay and whatever that is that you're doing whatever problem you're solving it might be if you're an agency owner it might be that your work is to send out two uh, sorry uh, is to spend two hours sending out emails so that might be your work uh, for that two hour kind of bout. Um, or maybe if you're a uh, print on demand uh, dropshipper, maybe your two hour work is to create a bunch of product listings on Etsy and then actually create some Facebook ads to push them live. Maybe if you're like me, you wanna create content, you're on social media or YouTube, whatever it is. Maybe your two hour work bout is to script a video and record, kind of like mine, I'll, I'll show you. So. I've just written down some tasks there and you can see the first one I've just scripted this video literally today and then now I'm recording it. So there's my two kind of main tasks today and then there's some upskilling stuff at the bottom there um, to get better on camera and stuff. And they're my two tasks for today. So once I've recorded this video, I'll take that off and then I'll edit it and then that's my task for today. So you can just break down your day like that into simple, easy, bite-sized goals and just crack on with them and block out time in the afternoon after you finish work, after you go to the gym. And this is what I've been doing. It's been working for me and it's helping me get um, upload regularly to YouTube and be consistent. I hope those tips were helpful, guys. I really hope you got some value out of this video. Remember your 20s are not just a time for partying and taking drugs and going out and getting wasted. Your 20s are actually a great time to build a solid foundation of a business, solid kind of starting point, skill set to earn money from. You don't want to be starting businesses like YouTube and businesses like dropshipping when you're like 30. I mean, it can be done, obviously, but imagine getting it done at 21. You might look back when you're 26 and think, like, thank God I started. I did that, you know, when I was 20, instead of going out all the time, because maybe in five, six years from now, you could be very successful with it and it'll be the best thing you've ever done. So yeah, I hope that video was helpful, guys, and have a great day.